Hey everyone, this is Nick Martin here with the American Steam Railroad. If you've been following our updates for the past few months, then you know that the majority of our work has been on getting the oil conversion done, especially with the oil pan. And as of the end of this month, we're excited to say that the fabrication of the oil pan is within just a day or two of being completely finished and in the books. So let's take a look at where we're at here with our progress in our October 2024 update. Starting back here at the firebox, it's been another great month of progress on the oil pan. You remember last month we celebrated the milestone of getting all the welding on the interior completed, and even then none of this metal here on the outside was in place. But now we have our support gussets in, as well as the line heater here on the outside, which is a final way of getting the oil heated before it reaches the burner in the front. On the underside, where you can't see, we've had pieces of C-channel welded into place on the bottom of the pan, and some flat bar on top of the frame, so that the oil pan can float on those surfaces as the boiler expands and contracts. So as I said before, it should be just another day or two of work before the pan fabrication is completely finished, and then it'll be time to lay all this brick, which we received last month. So hopefully in the next month or two, we'll have brick layers in to complete that process. Now, of course, no oil conversion is complete without giving attention to the front of the locomotive as well. And we're up here with the blast nozzle, which we took out of the smoke box along with the petticoat, because for a variety of reasons, it just wasn't going to create the proper draft for an oil burning locomotive. Now, of course, since we're just working toward a stationary fire up for the moment, we don't need to have the new components finished for right now because we won't have a draft up there like we would in operation. With that being said, however, we're pleased to say that FMW Solutions has completed engineering on the blast nozzle and petticoat arrangement. The locomotive will have a beautiful Lempore exhaust with multiple nozzles, the petticoat will have a curvature shape to it, and the distance between those two components will be shortened up pretty considerably. And make sure to stay tuned for a big video from FMW Solutions coming soon, going over all the technical aspects of this old conversion. So in other news, we are excited to say that the painting process in the boiler is virtually complete, with the only exceptions being the steam dome lid and the areas under the gain tree that we built to lift the steam dome lid. So when we get those areas done, we'll be able to say that the boiler is completely painted and finished. In addition to that, we're looking here at the area where the power reverse bracket used to be. We decided it was best to just go ahead and replace all of the studs in this area. So we've had new studs made, and in the near future, those studs are going to be installed in these areas and complete that process so we can get the power reverse unit back up in place and ready for service. Now, of course, this update's coming out in November, and of course, that means it's time for the holiday shopping season. And we have a really great new stocking stuffer for you, which is an original great finger out of the locomotive. We've stamped these with the locomotive number, as well as cleaned them up and presented them with a certificate of authenticity. The $39 price that you pay includes the shipping, but only to the U.S. and Canada. So make sure to pick one of these up today at americansteamrailroad.org. As always, we'd like to thank our donors, volunteers, contractors, and our hosts here at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society. And as always, those greats, as well as our other merchandise, donation opportunities, memberships, and volunteerism, all on our website, americansteamrailroad.org.